my mic isn't working, but now it is. <laughs> Cameron, thank you so much. Wow. I thought I was being trolled for a minute there. I don't know why it was on mute, so that really didn't help at all. But it should be working. Thank you so much. Hope you're well. Nyan, how are you doing, man? I'm good, mate. How are you doing? Game audio. No mic. <laughs> we should have both. Yeah, we got both now. It's all good. Uh, right, we got the Rotom Cut and the Barascuda coming out from my opponent. So, I mean, like, we do need to be careful here. Um, what's going to max? We could Icy Wind. I don't know if it's really going to help us if the rain goes up. Um, we could... Hmm. Could ally switch and go for an icy wind. It's not really going to help us out too much though. We could nasty plot and go for a sludge wave. Or we could. Mm, no, we're going to have to. We're going to have to max and go lightning and see what Gengar chooses. I don't know. I don't know. At least we've maxed. All good now. All good. Right. I'm going to settle into this, and we're going to be all good going forward. This match is always the warm-up match. It's always our warm-up. The mic, the mic situation threw me off. 100%. <laughs> Azalk, how are you doing? Always a treat to get to pop in and watch your stream. Thank you so much. Always a treat that you're popping in to watch it as well. Hope you enjoy how I briefly stick around for. What is Gengar going to do here? We are down to our Sash. Sludge Wave. Not really what we want to be going for here, but... Could potentially break. Oh, well, it's definitely... Yeah, I mean, Barascuda is so weak. Um. Okay, well, we get rid of Barascuda. That's fine. There's no rain up at the minute, so that's also good for us. Um... We need to get an icy wind off this next turn. And I think we can do as well. Nigel, how are you, my friend? Hope you're, hope you're good, man. Feeling better after laying down. Yes, mate. Oh, my headache yesterday. It was a night. It was horrible. Like honestly. Do you know when you get those like really bad? Like it, it was niggling like all day, all day. It was just niggling and. Um, just got worse and worse and worse and I don't know whether it was the lights and things were affecting it but when I got home I was just like oh couldn't do anything so yeah but I'm a lot better today man had a nice sleep last night and feel super better today so yeah that's good and happy pancake day as well Stu have you had your pancakes yeah Matt we will definitely get something penned in man lovely how are you doing thanks for hopping by it's gonna be fun playing this team tonight um, I had a lot of fun playing it earlier on today for um, today's episode. Obviously, like I said earlier, this is like the warm-up match. <laughs> Let's see. So, the, the, the Seismic Toad's protected here. We're probably going to take a, uh, a big old Max Grass. But I mean, if we do, then at least, like, Gengar's going to stick around another turn. So, I don't mind that really at all. But we do set the rain up for the Seismitoad, which is never a good thing. <laughs> and Stu's off to eat his pancakes. Nice. Awesome, mate. Well, I hope you enjoy them, dude. Nigel. No, those headaches. Normally a combination of stress. Yeah, that's what my boss said to me on the way out. Like, maybe it's stress. And I was like, I don't really feel stressed. But who knows, man? Who knows? But, yeah. I never know what those sort of headaches like how they get come on but yeah it wasn't it wasn't cool i had like all sunday as well i felt like pretty rough sunday i think we can get the seismitoad here seismitoad has to target down gengar really um could keep gengar around for later it might be worth it just to deal with that rotom later on oh wow seismitoad actually gonna switch out pelipper gonna hit the floor okay i don't mind this too much we're going to lose our Rotten, but I mean, it's our last turn of Dynamax. We got all three Dynamax turns off, so it's it's fine. And that's a nice chunk to Pelipper as well. Adub, how are you doing, man? I'm good, man. Thanks for hopping in tonight. Kicking off with some um, 
Niall's team from the IC posted the Rendell team this morning, so I thought it'd be cool to play it tonight. Right. Do we bring in the Gengar again? Just Sludge Wave? It's not a bad idea, because we can Sludge Wave. Probably gets rid of the Pelipper. Procs our weakness policy. And we can maybe... The only problem is, like, yeah, we'll go for it. And I guess the only problem is uh, the Rotom going for Max Lightning and we don't get it. Um, and then it leaves Conkledur. But then, if they do that, then we still got Gengar, right? Okay, maybe. Maybe. It's, this is risky. Plus two, Dazzling Gleam, single target. Rotom, can we get it? Johnny, Bebum, Ethox, how are you guys all doing? Hope you're all well. Johnny, thank you so much for the uh, the resub, my friend. Citrus is not helping us here at all, one little bit. And no big crit. We needed the crit, we needed the crit. I'm good, Johnny, I'm good, mate. A lot better than I was yesterday. And Johnny, mate, I get to say it in person, congrats. Johnny got like, messaged me like, really late last night. <laughs> it was like, I've just got my uh, shiny Noivern. And then he proceeded to get two more shiny Noiverns. Which is just incredible. Or the babies, anyway. The babies! So that's incredible, man. <sighs> right. Can Conk. Can Conk deal with the world now? Let's see. Mm. We can Mac Punch the Rotom. Because uh, Gengar's going to go down, for sure. I think we try Shadow Ball the Rotom. Do we just Drain Punch the Seismitoad or do we Mac Punch it? There's a good chance it protects. I'm going to Drain Punch the Seismitoad. Muddy Water. It's not going to miss. Okay. Wow. Well, the Assault Vest definitely helping us here. Hopefully we can... Okay, well, we outspeed the Rotom, which is pretty crazy. So they're both in Mach Punch range now. Just going to come down to which one we need to get more from the next turn. Let's see what this Thunderbolt does. Okay, I think we go for the, the Seismitoad. Is that too obvious? Is it too obvious? I think it might be too obvious. It is Nihal's team, uh, Bebum. So, it is the exact team. It's the rental team. If you guys don't know, go follow him on Twitter. Um, he put the rental code up this morning. So, make sure you try it out. It's such a good team. Honestly, it's like ridiculously good. Another Thunderbolt. We should take this. And then we're going to be able to Mac Punch the... The Rotom for the win. So we get through this one by the skin of our teeth. But a win's a win, isn't it, my friends? A win is a win. That's all that matters. Oh, we don't. No. <laughs> the Rotom's too strong. <laughs> Come on. Conk. Good game, Herdy. Well, I did say at the start of the stream that was a warm-up game, so that's a that's a mulligan. Now it's serious, Johnny. The first was uh, yes, finally. The second was lol, that's so cool. And the third was you're freaking kidding me. I can imagine, man. How many eggs was it like that you hatched in the end just to get the first one? <sighs> Rating, come on. I did jinx it. We always talk about this. Never talk about it on the stream or it will happen. Oh yeah, Ethox. See, this is why it's the mulligan. <laughs> no, Nigel, don't say that. <laughs> what am I doing? I did the same earlier when I was recording. Okay, let's, let's pay attention. Right, we got our next opponent. Umbrian, D, Whimsicott, Togodemar... Is it Togano? It is Togano, yeah. I'm even second guessing myself when I'm even just talking. Chandler, Garados, and uh, Excadrill. At least I hope you'll find this entertaining, my friends. Um, okay, so 
what can we pull here? Uh, hmm. Like, Rotom just feels good again. Really does. Um, Got to be worried about Mold Breaker Excadrill, of course. But then Gengar support is really nice with Icy Wind. So we can get it around that way. Uh, Togunamaru is a little bit of a pain, especially with the Gyarados. That's the only issue, I would say, for us. Um, but I'll go Gengar, Rotom. I think we'll bring Bishop as a little backup. Um, and probably Togekiss. Do we want Togekiss or do we want Conk? Hmm, probably Conk, actually, you know. Conk's going to be better against the Umbrian. Thanks, Bevum. You're the best, my friend. <laughs> I need to. I need to lock myself up when I'm laddering. You know, like, um, I've been hitting the, the double OVUs, well, the Battle Stadium ladder on Showdown pretty hard recently. So, and like, I can't, if there's stuff going on around me, I just can't, like, concentrate properly. I need to be, like, just, I've got one of those, like, brains that just anything that's going on, I'm like, I'm zoned in on. And I'm like, yeah. Don't care about anything else. Okay, so we got Wimmy and Chandelure. Is it Scarf Chandelure? Let's see. Let's just max and max guys. I get moving up and try and get rid of this Chandelure. I'm pretty sure it probably sashed. If not, maybe Scarfed. Um, but we'll see. We will see. I'm excited for season three though, series three. It's gonna be a lot of fun. A um, lot of new Pokemon to play around with. Have any of you guys been playing much? Like the last week I definitely kind of just forgot about. Um, this season's rules, really. It's a little bit bad, but I mean, understandable. With all the new G-Max Pokemon coming in as well. Like, I really want to try Orbital. I think that's going to be... It's going to be just nasty, isn't it? It's going to be nasty with that gravity setup. I was surprised to see when it when I saw its speed. Like, its base speed, 90. I thought it would be a lot slower than that, but... Maybe it can do some stuff. A Alola Ninetales team, Johnny. Yeah. Again, it's another good... Like, Gengar here. It's a great Icy Winder. Um, and you've got the Aurora Veil support as well. Gets hypnosis as well. Did you know that? Right, Excadrill coming in. Um, it's def definitely going to be the uh, the good old mold breaker. Do we max guard just in case? Because I think you have to go after Rotom here. But I will be kicking myself. I mean, no, I'm not even going to protect. I'm just going to go for it. We got Conk in the back. If not, we get the Icy Wind off as well, so... Okay. What's coming in for Excadrill? Oh, it's the Gyarados. Alright. Well, the Wimmy goes down here, so, I mean, to another Icy Wind, which is fine. What's it gonna do? Tailwind, it's got a Tailwind. It's got to. Got it. Um, which is fine. I didn't realize I've got the like the baby monitor in in this room. Sorry if you overheard that. Um, I've turned it off. It's it Tasha's with the baby, so it's fine. It's not like I'm turning it off and just ignoring it. Moje, how are you doing? Cyrus just completed my Pokedex and wanting to get into competitive Pokemon. Any advice on a starting team? Well, you're probably coming in, like, in all honesty, coming in at a great time because season three, series three, is starting from Sunday which introduces all of the new G-Max Pokemon and um, loads of the Pokemon from Pokemon Home. So it's a good time to kind of come into the format, uh, honestly. Right, Tailwind up. We'll get into some stuff in a bit, for sure. I really want to get the... Mm. We'll try an Icy Wind. I really want to get the Gyarados more than anything, but... 
What's going to max? Probably going to be the Gyarados, right? I'm going to chase down the Excadrill. I'm more worried about the Excadrill. And I think it's going to max here. It's definitely going to max. It's definitely going to go after Rotom. I don't think we take Max Quake. <laughs> All by herself. <laughs> the timer changing. Timer is changing. Yeah. Max Rockfall into Gengar. Huh. That. I don't know. I don't know if that was the best call. If you're not doubling into the Gengar with the Gyarados. Oh, that's kind of costly. That is really costly. Now we're going to get a rain back up. And the Excadrill may. I don't know. I don't think it goes down to this. Probably takes it. Yeah, that is a fat Excadrill. That's a salt vest, I think. Wow. Where's the Gyarados going, though? Power Whip. Huh. Okay. Well, 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 well. How things turn out. Scott, how are you doing, my friend? Hope you're well. We enjoy the stream of this tonight as well. Right. We just Shadow Ball. Hmm. We could Icy Wind again. I don't think we... Like, do we outspeed the Excadrill still? I doubt it. Unless it's, like, really fat. Because um, we could just Shadow Ball the Gyarados. I think he chased down. I think you 100% chased down um, the Rotom if you're Excadrill. Try and protect your Gyarados. Oh, oh well. I mean, this is good anyway, because we should get rid of the Gyarados regardless. Yeah. Gengar's such a beast. Like, Gengar is such a beast. How have I not used it more? This season. Like, it's so good. That's a great start on Pokemon. I think it's so good. Like, speed control, its damage output is, like, so surprising. I think, like, even though I've used it in so many different formats um but a starting team let's see let's see what's a good like introductory team for someone that's coming in brand new to start off with hmm like the grimmsnarl duraludon team something like that is kind of nice to use where you're just kind of uh screen support T-Wave support, you've got Duraludon, normally your uh, Dynamax Pokemon, not always though. Um, I've got a paste, I've got some, t I think I've got an actual rental team for that, so we can, um, I can, I can totally share that with you, if it helps, if it helps, man. What's this? Just wait till it gets G-Max form, hmm. What, which, what are we talking about, Bebum? Best combos to start with are Sand, 100%, yeah. Dragapult, uh, yeah. Togekiss, Dragapult, Arcanine, nice, but Arcanine might be. Like, Arcanine's still good, like, even though the Incineroar is coming into the format. The first VGC team was Grimmsnarl Duraludon. Rue, how are you doing, man? It's a good team, very good team, yeah. I haven't played Pokemon since Silver. Now I'm in love with the game again. That is great. I love hearing that. I love hearing that, man. Silver. How much longer am I going to stream? So I'll be streaming till 9 tonight. So another hour and 20 minutes. Um, Bebum. Also going to try this team when G Max Falapo gets released. Nice. Okay, we've got our next opponent. Excludeal Tita, Dragapult, Dracovish. The. Whimsicott and Mimikyu. Hmm. Whimmy speed control. It's kind of scary. A little bit scary. Okay. Hmm. The immediate threat of the fish is kind of scary. 
I mean, Rotom doesn't do too bad. Like, Rotom's all right here, to be honest, as, like, lead. Um, maybe the max user. I don't know if I want Gengar there, though, really. Um, I wonder if I can bring Bishop. We want Gengar in this match. Like, Gengar's not bad, but it's not great either. Definitely want Conk. Oh, we're running out of time and we're... Ah, we've done it. I think Togekiss is going to get in my starter team. He seems so good. Togekiss is great, yeah. So good. Yeah. Sword and Shield is its, like... The best thing to happen to Togekiss. Okay, Dragapult, Wimmy. We're going to see Rotom, Gengar, I think, for ourselves. Which isn't the worst. And I think we've got Togekiss in the back. Um, we could predict a Tailwind and go Trick Room. The other thing is my opponent could do is just double the Gengar to get rid of it. I'm kind of tempted to go Trick Room and then pull in to Yes. Because it doesn't really matter if we get the if we get the Trick Room up, it's not the worst thing in the world. Because even if like something like Titar makes its way under the field, we got Conquer though, so it's not the end of the world. Let's see. It's a seriously cool team. Also has AV Cinderace. That sounds cool. Right, so we're going to see the Dragapult Max. That's into Kiss. Okay. What's the Wemmy going to do? Energy ball, okay. Going after the Rotom. And Kiss is kind of taking a lot of damage here. Uh, not the worst thing in the world. I mean, the Trick Room here is fine. I think we probably want to adjust maybe by getting Conk onto the field. Or do we double up into the, the Dragapult? <sighs> probably double in the Dragapult, to be honest. I think it's our best option because. Like, you don't really want to switch Dragapult out once you've maxed it. And we've got the opportunity here to, to definitely get rid of it. So we should probably take that <laughs> opportunity while we've got the chance. Shadow Ball should get it from this range. Okay. There's a Moonblast. You're chasing the Gengar now. I don't think you will chase the Gengar. You're probably just breaking the potential Slash for later on. Kiss gone. I feel like Max and Kiss there wasn't really going to get us much because I think we potentially um, taking too much damage to get the most out of our Max turns. Now, do we bring in Conk and start going ham on Dynamax turns? Maybe it's not a bad idea to be honest because you can. Clear the field right now, we've just got Max um, Ailstorm into the Wimmy. And even if the Dragapult survives, it's going to take Chip from the Hailstorm, so we'll go for that. See, Max Conk, it doesn't it doesn't do bad against this team either. Especially if there's like Tito Excadrill in the back. Should be, should be good. Ikips, how are you doing? Hope you're well, thanks for joining the stream tonight. Hope you enjoy it with us all. Could have matched the Gengar. For sure, Nigel. I just think we probably get more out of it from Conk or Autumn. I don't think either would have been a bad call, to be honest. Like, we could have probably got Rotom in here and Max um, Geysered into the, the Wemmy. Um, okay. 
Well, there's the taunt coming out. Stopping any future trick rooms. Which you don't think we'll be going for, but... We get rid of the win. And they should take down the Dragapult. So that's fine. And then what's my opponent going to have in the back? <sighs> going to be Excadrill, T-Tar. Probably, probably Excadrill. Of all, like, maybe not the T-Tar. Maybe both. Maybe we get lucky. I see sign up. Uh, is it the 27th? Yeah, I think it is the 27th. I need to sign up for it, actually. I haven't signed up yet. I'm going to do it, like, straight after the stream. It is going to be a lot of fun. be interesting to see, like, what comes out on top from it all. So it's Mim. Mimikyu. Okay, not ideal. And Dracovish. Uh, not the worst. Not the worst things in the world. Um... Hmm, I'm going to chase down the Draco on this. Go Max Knuckle. If it's Scarf, then it makes it a bit easier to deal with. Um, it depends where the Mimikyu attacks into. If it goes for the Conk, then... Ooh, not Scarfed. Okay. Well, Vicious Ren now disabled. If that's banded, then we're in a really good spot. Because it can't do anything. And Sword Stance. Ha! <clears throat> Not so good. Not so good. Okay. I think I have to treat the, um, the fish like it can't do anything now. Which could be a little bit dangerous, but... Hmm. And I have to Hydro Pump. I just need to damage onto it. Um, hmm. It's pretty much all I can do, really. Like, Mimikyu's like the worst Pokemon to see here for us. see what we can do against it. Depends if it if it attacks into Rotom. Yeah, there's a struggle. Okay. Yeah, it's banded, so that's fine for us. We are slower than it, so maybe we've got a chance. Okay. We've got... Hmm. Okay, we take that. This is going to be really, really close. Mimikyu is like another Pokemon. I feel like it's such a good Pokemon as well that like is it is picking up a lot more popularity at the minute. But it's still a very good Pokemon. Dimension turn back to normal. I think we got this. To be honest, like is Struggle going to take down Rotom? I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to double. We just have to double the Mimikyu, I think, here. And hope. <laughs> the struggle from the fish. Okay. I think you had to attack um, a conk there. Flounce, thank you so much for the follow. And uh, for joining the stream tonight. I hope you enjoy it with the rest of us. And we should get Mimi now with the Ice Punch. I think we get away with that one, to be honest. I think my opponent, if they... It's tricky though, isn't it? Like, you can't, you target the Conqueror, then you have to hope that the struggle takes down the Rotom, I think. Which it may have done. Because um, if not, then 
it just means I can battle a bit more. You lost to the standard trainer card, dude. I know. <laughs> I'm never living it down. Okay. Right. Gasteron, Rhyperia. Whimsicott. Overnight, the Mimikyu and Arcanine. Right. So we got a mix of Tailwind, Trick Room stuff here. Hmm. Like maxing Rotom just limits us because of the Gasteron. Which is a, like a big problem from the start. Um, but Rotom is very good. Rotom's very good here. Arcanine also decent. I think I probably want to lead Arcanine. Do we want Bishop? Arcanine Bishop? Not really. But I mean, if we go that route. Do we want Conk as well? Conk's probably quite good here. <sighs> Is Conk good here? It's good for like Rhyperia, possibly, and Gastrodon. Other than that, it's kind of struggling. Um, but is it going to do better than... Hmm... What are we going to go with? We're going to have to just go kiss. Let's go for it. Let's do it. <clears throat> Bevan, I mean I got Grimmsnarl already, so I won't have... Ah, uh, okay. What Stu said? Yeah. <laughs> the standard trainer card. Okay. That's what we've got. That's what we've got. Lookalike24, thank you so much for the follow and for joining us tonight. I hope you enjoy the stream with us all. And Flance, I got Grimmsnarl. I'd rather watch battles. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Well, if anyone changes their mind. Because we can just cut in right at the end. Right at the end. Right at the end. But if not, then it's fine. So we're going to see Whimsicott and the Rhyperia come out for my opponent. Is it going to be like speedy Rhyperia? Or is that going to be like Trick Room Wimmy? Can't see Trick Room Wimmy. I'd imagine more speedy Rhyperia, to be honest. Um... Hmm. I could bring in Rotom. It's not a bad play. And like I think you you have to go you have to chase the Arcanine down. If you're my opponent, I think we'll go for an Iron Head into the um into the Wimmy. If it does try a trick room, at least we got Iron Head flinch here. But I think because of the burn threat from the Arcanine I I feel like that's the Pokemon you have to target down. So it made more sense. I mean, we might get punished and lose our Bishop here, but even if we do, then we get Arcanine back in. And it's just another Intimidate, and we're not proccing this weakness policy on right here. So, I feel like we've got the tools to kind of play around this Dynamax. It is going to be speedy old Rhyperia, though. Some max rock fall. Gonna be into Rotom. We should. Wow. Okay. Did way more than what I was expecting it to do. Okay, it's life old. That makes a lot more sense. Alright. Wow. Well, we will be able to get rid of the Wimmy, so there's the speed control gone. I wonder if it's worth maxing Bishop. Like, honestly. Like, it's not something I would normally consider. Because we can get Arcanine back in this next turn. Um. I guess Steel Spike's going to do a good chunk to the Rhyperia. We could pull this pull this and then go for an iron head into Rhyperia. It just depends what the rot like the Mimikyu does. Mm. Is it worth procking the weakness policy? Probably not. Let's do it anyway. <laughs> okay Mimi gonna switch straight out. I'm hoping that they've max quaked into the bishop. 
Please, come on. Let's be that guy that does this. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for being that guy. <laughs> I've still got the weakness policy. It's got the life orb, remember? Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. Um, hmm. We could probably max and max steel spike now. And then go into Arcanine, I think. It's not a bad play. Let's max Bishop. Yeah, maybe AV Bishop would be better for like maxing Luigi for sure. You know, I always remember like Mac uh, trying to catch uh, Dynamax Bishop early on and like really early on when I first got the game and just random dens and uh, it was like so difficult to take down because like any attack that you pulled off you were um... minus two that still knocks us out that's crazy that's crazy that's so strong isn't it Well, the Tailwind should end this turn. And then Togekiss is like the perfect partner. Hopefully we take this just about. Okay. Just. There we go. There's that tasty Defiant boost that we want. Right. Let's bring in Togekiss. Because Rhyperia should revert back now. And the Dazzle should get it. And then the Max Darkness will be able to get the Gastrodon as well. As long as the Tailwind ends, I'm pretty sure it ends now, right? Let's check. Oh, one turn of Tailwind left. Hmm. I mean, we can just Max Guard and Protect, right? I could just follow me. It's just the threat of the Rock Slide. Like, Rock Slide. Now it's minus two, but still, we don't want to take any risks. Wow, rock wrecker. Oh, it makes sense on such a speedy, speedy Rhyperia, to be honest. Is there a tailwind? I think we got this now. Um, it's got max darkness and. Let's go Dazzle. That'll be enough to get the Rhyperia. The Rhyperia's max speed. We should get it with. Oh, okay, it's going to switch out. Mimikyu going to come in. We get the free disguise break. So that's fine. And we'll be able to get this gas draw. Bishop's put in a lot of work in this match. It's done so good. I feel like I'm not really utilizing it as probably as much as I could have been in previous matches. Okay, there's a sand stream going. Um okay, right period coming in. Like, what can the Mimikyu really do? Like, Shadow Sneak, it can go for, yeah. But, I mean, we still should get the Rhyperia with, with Togi. There's a pair of... Okay. For some reason, I was expecting the Mimikyu to be really slow, but... Sludge Wave Assurance. We need to do that. We need to do that. 
That's such a good player. This team's great, honestly. I think it might be my favourite, like, team so far this season. I think it's so well put together. Um, and it really is good. You know, when I first heard, like, Bishop, Gengar, it's like, how, what's it, what's it doing? But, like, in the team, it's 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 crazy good. Crazy good. Uh, continue on. Right. <clears throat> How long we got? Okay, we've got a little while. We've got a little while yet to do some. Yeah, I think that's the thing, Johnny. Like, the combinations within the team is just so good. Um... It's funny, when I was first looking at it, I was like, weakness policy target, it's just like, where's the self-proc? And then I was like, ah, sludge wave. There we go. And it hits so hard as well. Uh, right, Grimmsnarl, Gudra, Covenite, the Chandelure, Rotom Wash, and Tyranitar. Hmm. Could we go? Hmm. Right, what's going to be best max for us here, really? Um, hmm. Maybe Rotom. Then again, maybe Bishop, to be honest. Like, yeah. Let's go Gengar Bishop. Um, let's... Do we want Arcanine here? Hmm. Like, Arcanine's really good for the Snarls against Gudra. It's nice for the Corvid Knight. Um, we probably... Do we want Rotom or Conk? Alas. Hmm. Maybe Rotom. Just in case an endgame with Corvid Knight is there. How much damage do you do to your own Togekiss when you Sludge Wave? A lot, man. Even when you're maxed, you do probably too much. Like, yeah. I'd say like 25% we were doing, I think. Without like actually looking at it. Okay, Rotom and Grimmsnarl. Okay. Do we try the Sludge Wave? Assurance play? I think we can get it. I don't know if we can. I think we have to max here. Uh, and probably max into Rotom. Because I think Rotom is going to max as well. Um, yeah, let's go for it. Let's not worry too much about the Grim Snarl right now. Okay. I don't know what is it better getting rid of the Grim Snarl? Maybe, maybe. He could fake tears. I mean, it's not gonna work on a Bishop, and Gengar's got the Sash, so ah, could do that as well. But I think the Rotom probably goes down here. Wow, it does so much to the Grim Snarl. Wow, okay, critical hit. This Gengar is like a crit machine. Wow. What's with all the crits? <laughs> I'm not complaining, but like I'd rather keep them for when it actually matters, you know? <laughs> when I'm in a tournament, like just... Just saying. I would lo <laughs> love this sort of look. Not that I don't get good luck at tournaments. I do get good luck. Get a good share of both. Um, I think we probably want to keep Gengar for later. Let's bring in Arcanine, get an Intimidate off, and um, let's get our defenses up a little bit more against this Corvid Knight. So we'll go for the Steel Spike, get rid of the Grim Snarl. We might see a T-Wave come out here, but I think Sucker Punch is probably a safe bet for what they're going to go with. There's the mirror armor. 
such a shame it doesn't bounce back onto ball. I would have loved that. <laughs> yeah, Nigel, just bank them. So I can just be like, right, okay. Imagine if you could do that. There's a sucker punch. Okay, that's fine. Steel spike. You know, I don't know if this is true. I was reading um, a really old, uh, like one of the first competitive Pokemon forums the other day. I was just reading some old posts and um, supposedly th there's like a box trick in uh, RBY that you could do with your Pokemon to reduce the, the sleep turns on your Pokemon um, in Pokemon st when you played on Pokemon Stadium through your card. Now I don't know if there's any truth in that but if there is that's that's pretty crazy but there was enough kind of um, discussion around it and people mentioning it throughout different posts for me to be like, is that a thing? I never heard of that, but it's kind of crazy. Okay, Shandy coming in. Uh, let's go for the wisp into the, the bird. Um, are we better off going max guard and just sucker punching? Because I, I have a horrible feeling that the chandelier probably had speeds bishop. I think we're better off just coming out of our um, Dynamax state. Alkadam, why'd you do this to me? I think that's Scarf Chandelier. So we should be able to deal with it pretty... Pretty handily. Unless they switch out. And they've discovered a lot of weird and wonderful stuff on RBY. Even two decades since the release of the game. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like, it's funny on this forum. One of the posts was saying about, like... Uh, Pokemon that are accessible and um Oh canine, why are you doing this to us? Yeah, third time lucky, we'll get it, we'll get it. <laughs> Nappy, karma for the two crits. Yeah, they, like this post I think one of the main things they were saying was um hmm. Let's keep Gengar for later. I feel like it's probably better. Uh, yeah, that Mew was not obtainable. Only obtainable through an event. That's the only way you could get it. Not through the game legitimately. Only through Game Shark. And I'm like, well, there is a way. Now, there is a way now to get it. All right, let's try this again. Um, I don't even want to go for the nasty plot. Let's just go for the Thunderbolt. Oh, can I? Third time lucky. There we go. We get the wisp. See how much this bolt does. Yeah, it's enough. It's enough. The press is coming. We're in trouble. Oh no, no, we're not. We're really not in tr <laughs> trouble at all, are we? <laughs> no. Um. Wow. I thought that was gonna do a lot more than it did. Well, there we go. Good game to my opponent. I do like Overnight. I think it's, I think it's got uh, a lot of potential in this format. I think in the right team, it can do a lot of work. Um, I feel like it might have a new lease of life in Series Three when it kicks off. I've been playing around with um, a lot of Nine Tails, uh, Dracozolt, and Knight as cool new animations. Thanks so much, man. And it's nice to have you back after such a long while. So I hope you're doing well and hope you're enjoying Sword and Shield as well. Got Ryan up next. He is playing a team of Jellicent, Whimsicott, Duraladon, Togekiss, Conkledur, and Tyranitar. Hmm. So, what are we going to do here? Like Wimmy, Duraladon lead feels like that's what's coming up for my opponent. Um,. I wouldn't be surprised if it's all Togekiss though as well for some reason. Hmm. Okay. Wimmy Duraladon. 
I think we go Gengar. We go Togekiss. It's so risky. So risky. I mean, we could go Arcanine. We could go Arcanine. I just feel it's super, super passive. Um. We go Togekiss Arcanine. It's a little bit better. It's a little bit better. We go Honk and. Mm, yeah, we'll bring Rotten as well. Leave Gengar at home for this one. Yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot more than I did Ultra. I'm not very good at it still. Still plenty of time, man. Everyone's still learning. And the new series starting next week with all the new Pokemon. Giving everyone, like, a fresh start as well. So hopefully you get up to speed soon, mate. Um, the main thing is that you're enjoying it, though. Look at these Pokemon and these Beast Balls. I'd love it, a Beast Ball Tower case. I don't, like, I don't know if I'm ballsy enough to throw my one Beast Ball that I've got in my Sword and Shield at a Togekiss <laughs> in a den. Okay, well, the Intimidate's helpful. Um, we're not really going to be able to Will-O-Wisp here. Uh, I think we see a Follow Me. So, like, we could potentially get... Konkin or Rotten. Rotten's probably better. Well, Konk's probably better because I don't really want Rotten taking like masses of damage. And we could max. We could max Togekiss and go for an airstream into the opposing Togekiss. <clears throat> probably not a bad idea doing that. So we can get some sort of speed control. It'd be interesting to see if the if it's a Togekiss that maxes though, it would surprise me if it was. So I totally expect it to be more the Tyranitar. Ah, okay. Well, there we go. Dynamax is such a complex mechanic. I feel like maybe I haven't figured out how to handle it yet. Yeah, there's like so much to it, like different max moves, the G Max Pokemon. Um, and the thing is, it's like any Pokemon can max as well. Which is like such a cool, I think it's such a cool mechanic, it's like it's not just tied to a certain like group of Pokemon like we've seen previously, uh, previous formats like Megas or Z Crystals. Um, I know you can put a Z on anything but there's only like certain Pokemon you really want to put the Z moves on. So we are going to see, it's like possibly the worst switching in the world isn't it? <laughs> Could it get any worse? Hopefully this T-Tar speeds us, procs our weakness policy. Yeah, well, let's... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Why? Why? Is this a rental team? Yeah, it is a rental team. Um, if you... I will I'll grab it for you at the end. It's not my rental team, but it is a rental team. Ah, um, oh, come on. Right, well, Rotten... And come in and do do something now. Ha! Huh. Let's pull this nasty trick and go for the uh, the airstream again. Hopefully they just do the same. Airstream. I think you've got an airstream into our toggle kit. Well, maybe not. Maybe you go for the starfall into the the rotom. Double up into it with the the T-tar. Let's see. Hopefully the airstream into our autumn. Yeah, it's fine. Come on, Tito, hit your rock slide. What did you think about the special Titos? It's kind of interesting. Um, it makes a lot of sense. It gets around Intimidate a lot better, doesn't it? Um, and the thing is with like Tito. It's got a decent special move pool. Um, I always like like mixed Tito, um, but playing like a brave one, so you could. I'd never play it like really heavy, mixed. Um, but I would I would tend to play it with like Ice Beam or Fire Blast. I think you get more out of it though physically, like in all honesty. But I still think there's some warrant in special Tito for sure. 
Right. It's our last turn. Do we go for the max? Test stream. Let's go for it into T Tot and let's try and get rid of this Togekiss with a Thunderbolt. I just don't want to proc a weakness policy into this Tito. Hmm. Okay. Well, Togekiss goes down to the sand anyway. So. It doesn't really help us, though. That's the problem. Uh, I mean, Tito's going to be minus two. So I guess we kind of got that going for us. Tito's like max speed, like mm, plus three as well. Uh, yeah, especially with all the willow wisp going around, it seems to make sense. Combos, yeah, it's so true, yeah. And it does combo a lot nicer as a Dynamax Mon, like going off the special side. For sure, that's such a good point. Uh, Dog Pulse, it makes it a lot more like that's, I think, the problem with it when it's physical is it's not really using the best max moves to kind of benefit it. You get what I mean? Okay, well. Duraladon coming in, not the worst thing in the world because we can max star for, well, we can dazzle game it and we can snarl. Okay, dazzle and snarl. I don't think we'll get, oh, the Tyranitar switching out. Maybe it would have been better to keep the Tyranitar in to be honest. I don't know. Okay. Durana, I'm going to protect. Maybe we're worried about potentially will a Will O Wisp there. As long as this hits. As long as this hits. Come on. Yeah, I mean, we're good now. Jellicent goes down the next turn. And Duraladon is not in the best of places. And we know it's not a salt vest now, so it makes it a little bit easier. The t is still going to be difficult to deal with when it comes back in. Uh, it's kind of reset the Intimidate drops, so we really need to catch it with a Will-O-Wisp when it comes back in. Yeah, I really like, I really like um, Dynamax t -tar, Weakness Policy t -tar. I think it's it's scary. It's like, it's really good. Um, and there's only a few Pokemon that can really threaten it for, like, knockouts. Um, and you can kind of cover them pretty easily. I think we've seen, like, Max t -tar do well at most events where it's been. And here he is. Mr. t -tar. I don't see it going away either because I think the thing is with um, the introduction of like a lot of nine tails um, next format I think you're going to need the sand as well so it just gets a bit more prominent as well. Right friends, good game to my opponent there, at least we, we end with a win as well. So it's been a lot of fun tonight, uh, thank you so much to each and every one of you for coming out tonight, it's been awesome. I'll be streaming again on Thursday this week, uh, we'll be kicking off at 8. Now I did say at the start of the stream we'd be doing the Grim Snarl then, but not many of you wanted to kind of do that. So if you still want to do that, come along on Thursday and we'll do the shiny GMAX Grim Snarl then, I'll keep it till then and uh, we'll do that then. But um, has there ever been a game where Tito wasn't good? Mm. No. <laughs> Gen 5, what's Gen 5? Bring me back. I think any generation that Tito has been in, it's been incredibly good, yeah. Um, it's one of those Pokemon I think that's always, if it's been in the format, it's always been in Top Cut of Worlds. Pretty sure. Except the, 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 the restricted formats, because then it's kind of, it's not really, um, it's not really relevant. And yes, Bebum, I will see you there, my friend, tomorrow evening. Um, and the rest of you, I'll see you Thursday. So, 
Have a great evening, friends. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. I hope to see you all Thursday. We'll have another fun team to end off season two uh, of this format with uh, for you all. And uh, big shout out to you all. Does, if anyone needs the, uh, the team, I'll retweet the original tweet so you can follow. Um, and you can get the team to play around with. So have a great rest of the evening, guys. And I'll see you all for another one very soon. Until then, bye-bye.